Hi guys, my name is Nardo, I'm a software engineer and data scientist. Today I'm going to start the Hey URL challenge. So let's start with that. First of all, I will set up a timer and then we can start. So here we go. I already have my master branch since I have a fork. So I'm going to make sure that I don't have any extra commit, just the commits, uh, the default commits for the project. So uh, the first thing, well, well, the first thing that I do when I see a new project is I go to the application file here. And then I see something like this that we are requiring all the race frameworks. So, but for example, when you're not sending emails or jobs or stuff like that, you you should just take out those importing and instead of having because some days you will need it when you when you are, when you need so to send uh, any email in the future or something like this, you can just add it later. But for now, we should uh, remove this part of the code. So let's start with that. We have a sniff of code here. Uh, this is, for example, uh, how our, our race project should, should look like at least for race 5 you don't have any anything related with active store active storage or stuff like that just the the mod simple frameworks I just delete this line of code and here for example we have like this job uh, we are not sending any but well job right now and uh, we have mailer so we are not using mailer and we have action cable uh, this is for uh, this this implementation keeps uh, the the most minimalist uh, way for the MVC uh, models, my ORM, my controllers, my build and uh, sprockets for access. So I think with that we are really done. Once we this is done, so we need to um, need to uh, delete. The configuration, the files, uh, relay with the framework that we just delete. So first step, we go to uh, the environments, and I need to look something for mailers, and then for jobs, and finally, I'm gonna delete this too. Interaction mailers here and storage okay then test delete this and mailer configuration too. Ones, job, everything here. That's fine, it's done. Then we go through um, JavaScript files to delete this line of code. Let's delete this file. We have a folder for channels for action cable for mailers. We have a folder for mailers layout here. Um, channels 
that Okay, so I guess I think we are done. Just a couple of things here. Um, we go to config, there's a file for cable, there's a file for storage here. And what else? I think we're already done. Yep, so let's run our application to make sure that everything is working properly here you go so this is my um, my master branch I'm going to create uh, a new branch for this kind of um, changes especially because this is like a kind of a factor and I'm gonna cap it with multiple lines Instead of having a lot of, a lot of commits, I just want to keep all these changes in just one commit. I can do the same with the squash, but it's better to keep everything or, or at least these kind of changes in the same file. So that's that's, that's the reason why I do something like this. Actually, I made I made a mistake because this comment should be in another different branch. So I'm going to reset this. With this action, we make sure that we don't ha add an extra commit in the merge operation. And now we have a commit here. Alright. So now we can start with the project. Um, so I have the requirements here. This is a very uh, simple like, kind of um, project for interviews and uh, is a very basic project. Uh, the idea is to share an URL with uh, a minimal, must like a minimal amount of structure possible, and and then just redirect uh, the 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 short version to the original version. This is used for um, to keep uh, URLs really clean, especially for marketing purposes. And there are too many services to do this action. 
there is something that we need to, to keep in mind and it is in the redirection part and normally uh, there are two kind of redirects that most of the services do but this kind of redirect is really important and I'm going to tell you why this this one especially mood firmly is really useful uh, and recommend for shield stuff because if something goes wrong and so the browser the client browser can get in contact with their server instead of just saying that uh, there is not any clue uh, about this operation so this is really useful and this is the most recommend um, redirect that you can find you can use uh, other approaches, but for example, and and you can use time steps to to expirate um the uh, click story. But this is the most simple and most useful uh, kind of direct. So this is what the same that we are going to use today. Just keep in mind this. Alright, let's start with the project. So first of all, uh, I'm going to check the integration and see what we have here. So basically, we have a table uh, for URLs that is the the principal table in the table in the project. Um, it has a temp set, it has a short URL, a ring URL, and the click count that is like a cache, uh, cache counter. So, okay. Then we have the clicks that has an URL, uh, the browser, and the password. So we can just capture this with the gen we have using the, the, re the request in the controller, the request object. And, and yeah, there is something that we should change here. Instead of having foreign key true, we should use something like this. This is why when you delete the the parting model, so all the clicks, all their clicks, its clicks are going to be deleted in cascade to avoid any any missing foreign and key foreign key especially we add and make sure that the constraints are working properly for this kind of operation so and we need to come here and From here, we need to make sure that this short URL that is the basically is the primary key. I, I'm not going to, to change that the primary key because uh, I don't really want to 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 mess the association we have here. But I can just make sure that this short URL is always unique from the um, database later. So I'm going to add something like this. Here, just make sure that the short URL is actually unique. We are going to have the validation from the model side, but so far we have something like this. So I'm going to already migrate the files. So I'm going to um, to drop and create everything from scratch. It's going to generate um, uh, or update the current schema. Okay, there was a hero here. Ah, L missing.
So this generate a need to be a schema and just with new version of migration you use a, a Postgres extension to and well that's all. Taking apart uh, the validation and some logic we are going to use in the model in the controllers, we need to find a way to wrap the logic for the shorter URLs. And uh, we need a way to 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 wrap this logic outside controllers, outside models, and um, um, stuff like that. So in this opportunity, I, I will create a small a small very small version of a Ruby gem. And um, in the past, for Rails three, we used to have all of it, all those libraries in, inside of this folder. You know, in the root path, we have the library folder, so you you could add all the libraries here. When science science rays change all the all this perspective, you should have had all the custom RV files inside the app. Science all the files you put here are going to be loaded automatically by the rails um, when initialized. So I'm going to create a new library, a new folder here called lib, and then. I'm going to create my small Ruby uh, gem here. I'm going to call this uh, shortener RB, and I going. I need to make sure that the, the my application has a different name. Deploy configurations with consents. So yeah, my my module application is called Hey URL. This is the name URL. This is where the magic happened. This is the main module. In every single race application, so I think that's fine. We have the magic comment here for the table objects like strings. In this case, uh, I'm going to add a class. Okay, why well, I'm just hiding the class instead of a model or something like this? I'm adding a class because if in the future we want to extend behaviors or functionalities. We could we could do it easily by uh, using mixings, creating some modules, and then stuff like that. So I think this is a very um, great thing to start projects. So and there's many Ruby gems that use a module instead of a class, but just because of the nips that every single Ruby Ruby gem has. In this case, if we want to extend functionalities. Uh, we should we should be able to add it through the modules, so that's the reason why I'm just creating a class instead of a module uh, initially. So this is going to 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 allow to me to have a very clean structure because if in the future this small library grows up really quickly, so we can just create a Ruby gem by using the same files and the same structure. So you don't need to spend too much time on that. So that's the reason why I'm creating something like this. And yeah. So now, um, as the commentation said, here you have that. Um, That we should have a, a land for the short URL of five structures, and and we need to use upper casing and lower casing short set. So first of all, I'm going to create my short set concept here. Here, I'm gonna put all the short set that we're going to use to generate the short URL um, code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge different arrays like this plus plus
I don't need to freeze this contents since the Ruby version I'm using automatically makes sure that you only have a constant instead of many. So this is automatic uh, get frozen by by Ruby by Ruby newer version. So that's the reason why I need I don't need to freeze this contents. Uh, I need to find a way to to make sure that all the configuration now the variables are really easy to set. So I'm going to use uh, this kind of assessor. Um, to set the length, the key length. So we should have something like short URL and length. Then we can set up here. like this now I need to create a method to generate the code taking in consideration this share set and the land by default we have here so in the future we want to change the value so we can just come here and set five or other values we want maybe it could be three it could be six or whatever now I'm going to create a method for this and I'm, I'm not going to instance this class. This class we have only class method to buy in any object in the memory. So I'm going to uh, create this method using the self um, keyword generate um, sure URL. Action from zero to show URL and map this sure set and run for this taking the sure set size. I'm gonna try this. <clears throat> okay, there's there's like uh, a bug sometimes when you are trying to to load a new uh, RB5, especially when you create a new folder, and you need to load um, from your local uh, environment uh, manually. So in this opportunity, we're going to stop spring. Here um, well, it, it will take a time. Okay, now it's loud. And and with active support, the dependency is that it's concept of active support. Lot, lot, uh, the auto load paths. So as you can see here, we run the camera once again. You you find out that uh, we are now loading the app, the lead folder that wasn't exist, uh, didn't exist in the application. So now we can go through shortener. Um, all right. So we're so one second. Hmm. Should be, should be a lot actually. Um,
that is the, the same uh, method we were using here. Mm, so we're This is not actually necessary in this race version, but I'm going to try it anyways to make sure it is loading. Yeah, yeah, it's not necessary. It seems there is a bug. This. Uh, Alright, so sorry that there was a mistake with the names of the file actually, so this is not necessary. And I usually have something like this for other race versions, but for for this one it's not necessary. The the problem was with the name of the file. Well if you go here and can just rename it. No, not a lot. What's the problem with the file name? So now we can try the, the method to generate the code. This one. Yeah. Now I have to join the right, the final right. So let's reload. And Here we go. This is an issue here because we are having actually six soccer and because of the range expectations. Now is it's done. Every time we call this comp we pass up, it will generate a new um Identifier, so nice working property. So so far, I think we have all the necessary things to test here. And gone, I gone through the models and and see what we have here. Um, this. How true is for when and the party model is updated, it will keep the time stat from the party model. So that's the reason why I'm doing something like this. Since we had, we already had, we already added the. Then the lead cascade um, thing in the immigration, so we don't really need to add something like that and then destroy. This is the equivalent 
um, for our for for a child for a higher level uh, of the layer of the architecture in the model we should we should do something like this but I just wanted to keep that in the migration files. This is going to be useful for for sculpts. Sorry, class. So now we need to create a new callback because every time we need to um, create a new rel, we need to perform this. So science, we need to first validate that the original URL is actually uh, valid. It's instead of generating and wasting a lot of time to, to create the new Azure uh, URL version. So the step is the steps are uh, validate um original URL. Just then create the Azure URL version. If this step doesn't happen, so this one won't happen. So we need to make sure that this is the, the order for validation, right? So in this opportunity, I won't create a, a before save for uh, after neutralize a callback. Uh, we use a really not common callback, but that that works perfectly for this kind of operation. And it is around create. I'm going to, to explain how around create work and what's the difference between this callback from others. Generate short URL. So the main difference between this callback and the rest of the callbacks is actually that you can perform before and after operation in the same block. So this is help to you to validate or to create and uh, maybe some custom logic before uh, the object is saved and after it saved. So that's the reason why we are creating something like this. In this opportunity, we want to make sure that after it is created, uh, we already have the show URL. So we can use a, um, a normal before save or something like this, but it will fail since we are going to use a loop to, to make sure that the show URL is unique and it's not repeat. And since this operation could take some seconds uh, or, or something like this. We need to really make sure that this is happening. So that's the reason why I create something like this. I, I'm gonna give you an example of what I'm going to create here. Generate your version is going to be the callback method here. Um, I'm going to use show URL. This actually, this is not uh, necessary here. Science, you can call uh, show URL directly. But I just want to make sure that this is one fail. So that's the reason why I can call it this. I don't want to, um, but maybe there's any other method or something um, that race creates automatically and then it doesn't save the show URL version. That's the reason why I did this. And uh, so now I'm going to wrap a little uh, block here, right? So I'm going to create a variable called uh, a random token. So on this random token variable, I will say if, um, the new shortener. The new shortener um, yeah. auction. So I'm going to break this loop only if the random token. Uh, I'm going to break this loop here I'll, unless um, self plus exists. So I'm gonna I'm gonna explain what this logic does. Uh, the loop is going to break, uh, get broken when just uh, 
there isn't any other uh, resource with the sh sure URL like this. So you make sure that it is unique. So that's the reason why I'm doing something like this. Um, and well, I think that it's pretty much done, but there is something missing here. And signs, I mean, I didn't, I didn't change the ID for this table in the migration because it didn't break the normal flow for um, relationships. But Grail allows you to set up a virtual primary key. So you can use the orand method uh, against this, this custom primary key instead of the ID, but you keep, you keep the the database really clean by using the ID as primary primary key here. So I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to virtualize this behavior. Something like this, right? So you can actually set up a different table name in case your your table name is not URL. So you can do something like this. You can virtualize a lot of behaviors, and so this is one of those. <clears throat> so now I can this exist method works like find. That you patch only one argument and by default is an ID, but here uh, now you can use the show URL instead of the ID, so that's fine. So instead of having this hash, we can just um, use a random token because the random token is going to match always with the show URL instead of the ID. So now let's try this. Here you go. You have your ID here, but it's that uh, uh, another kind of behavior, and you have the show URL version here. So yeah, that is working properly. You create a new one. You have a different show URL. You have a different show URL always. There's something I really like to use, especially if you read application and. This head jam help to you to have a very um, beautiful um, console. <clears throat> this is yes, development inside the development block. Um. Okay, so now here we're going to add this gem here. Let's run bundle and it will automatically use something like this. You'll see. Now work console looks like something different. So as you can see there isn't anything any URL here and we already saved some URLs. But the reason why this is happening, and I'm gonna show you what is happening, it will say that it will never try to save uh, these records. Uh, because we forgot to add, it is really important to add the GL um, keyword here because otherwise if you don't add this GL keyword you're just saying that the after operation won't be executed so now we reload the console and then create a new URL and here you go
you have the insert URL here. So that is working properly and we are saving and persisting the information here. So that's fine. <clears throat> so now let's look at or we, now we can create URLs and they have the, the primary uh, key again the short URL with the unique token. Signs we don't have any method to 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 keep the to concatenate the the share URL with the original URL. We should add we could have something in the model. And the reason why I'm adding the model is because I don't I could have two different methods. I could have the creator and I could have um a custom method in the serializer. Because remember that we need to create a service and um, we need to expose an API, but at the same time we need to to add these this helper in the views. So I can just add the decorator for the views and I can add the custom method in the serializer. That will be really cool. But to buy to have the same logic in two different methods, I'm going to create a new method here. You need to think twice before you add an extra method in your module and in your model because sometimes it gets really difficult to read the whole uh, model later. But in this opportunity, this is really uh, necessary at least in this part of the application. So let's make um, let's create a new method for concatenate the string URL with the original URL. Uh, is I'm gonna call this something like in this opportunity. We need to make sure that we already have uh, we are using uh, an HTTP protocol. Sometimes if you go to in this uh, service. As can just as you can see, you can actually write just the um, domain without any <coughs> HTTP protocol like HTTP or HTTPS in case of as a cell. So if you try to shorten this, it will automatically use the HTTP version against this one. So we need to do and uh, we need to recreate this behavior and um, we need to uh, find a way to so in case that in case that the the HTTP protocol is pressing in URL. Uh, well, we are going to use the HTTP normally uh, because maybe these these URL doesn't have a, a secure connection. So we are we are just making sure that we can just connect to the URL. And, and then if the the original URL has a uh, some redirect rules, it can, the server can just send the users to the HTTPs. HTTPS uh, directly, so we don't need to worry about that. So here, let's go to the documentation, and this has actually a method for build URLs here, right? So we want to make sure that we have the HTTP um, in the URL. So um, okay, I guess that I think that we need to add uh, some ridges here too. Um, Just reading the documentation. I'm going to create a new uh, class method here to clean the URL before we are going to use it uh, actually. So we need to make sure that the URL includes any HTTPS or HTTP protocol. If it doesn't exist, we need to return uh, the URL 
with the HTTP version. So that is what we what what we are going to use. So let's create a new constant called um, URL hash protocol and I just find out this this um this much this rejects on the internet so it's not mine but let's just write it and then uh, let's write it to you Exist, we can use an A. Yes. Doesn't matter the casing, so it's not really important. And then we just create a method clean the rel. First, we delete of the extra spaces. This is the first sanitation uh, step. Then we need to return HTTP by default if the URL doesn't have a protocol. So we can use something like this. If URL is different than This normal live method is from URI model that actually sanitizes the URL. So now we can try this method. Let's see how it goes. Alright, this works in property. But if if I already have a HTTPS protocol here, well, it's the active protocol. So something is happening here. So um, there's something with the rejects. It seems that I found the example I found on the internet is actually broken.
<clears throat> All right, I've just found a hero actually. There is a bug slash missing here. I was reading the stack up of Bob's comments and I found out this. Now here is here's working. So that's fine. Alright. And it seems just to be really sure. Then I need to create to extract the protocol. I can split or spin it like this, but I, I think there's another better solution
So now can just well, this is actually really important because uh, this is this is where we we sh concatenate the shared version with the original URL. So in this in this step, we need to uh, find a way to send the host. Um, the path it belongs to and the port we are using. So, and we are working on local environments. We we don't use HTTPS. So we need to make sure that we are not using a local environment. So I can add something like if it's even if development, so we can just use or maybe use fraction. If fraction, we can use this parser. Otherwise, we can just use HTTP all the way, always, to avoid this. So it makes sense. Only if it is in production, so we can use the parser. Otherwise, we force it to have HTTP always. So here we have the scheme builder. So we need to set up. Uh, an environment variable for this I could use fetch or just end I think that we can use actually fetch because we can set a default value if app host doesn't exist we can just say that by default is local host. And for the path is the the sure version. Sure URL. And the poor is depending on your configuration. So here we can avoid the default value. If the, the app port um, port um, variable doesn't exist, so it will just use the normal the AT port instead of any other thing. And so we don't need to use fetch for this. And we are not using fetch because we are not requiring this um, variable as mandatory so if we use fetch and maybe this variable doesn't make six so it will rise an error in this case not so I'm going to export this from my computer Let's see how it works. Here you go. This is the last year round, then you are generating actually the path for this. I just forgot to return this as on a as on string always. Here you just return this as on a string. 
able to use this keystone version and that is fine. It, it is working properly. Let's let's try with the frame. I mean then I will have some specs but so far I like you to do the small perfect context while I'm recording. So that's just how to work normally. If I have to change or well if we don't have if we, I don't have to change and I need to apply the interaction, I'd rather just use our spec for this. Um let's use the HTTP. As you can see, this is happening because um, we are in the development environment. Uh, if we were in production, it will be really different. It will be just use the HTTP version. So that's the reason why we create HTTP version, but we are getting actually HTTP normal without any, any SSL support. So this is the first implementation. Let's go to the documentation once again. This is happening. So this is done. Um, this is happening. You can actually parse um, numbers to URLs, but you want to make sure that it's happening too. Jumpmeter is happening. Last. This is happening too. Um, it is happening. It is happening. And in validation, I need to make sure that here Format width. Yes, and then the measures, measures sages here. Okay. Mm. As you can see, we are not validating the shared URL because we are actually doing this when we have the callback here, so we don't need that.
So let's try this. I still have five minutes, so I'll try to, to make as much as I can. So since my time is about to to get over, uh, we we'll just try to explain what I was going to do. Uh, we'll continue the test until I finish it, but just after this timer. So what is missing here? I need to find the proper reject here to validate um, non-valid non sectors like special sectors in the URL. See those are those are actually done. And then I was going to create a controller um, for the build and then I expose a, a another controller using JSON API fast. That is the the fastest serializer that we have in Rails. It is by Netflix actually. So this is really useful, and I was, was going to expose this and for the for the not found. I was going to go to application controller and then use a risk uh, uh, method to do something like this. can get just yep, maybe something like this with your front and then just create a custom not found method with a custom um, view in the controller that is what what I'm going to do and with the RSpec I was going to create some fixtures to test the controllers especially API and since we don't have any authorization like in count gen or stuff like that or um, login so we don't need to test that part but I was going to test that all collection were loaded properly and uh, I was going to use the includes and method to buy and one uh, and plus one queries and, and things like that and I was going to to create um, a before action to save this user agent and EOS and I was going to create a current um, account and scroll to get the dot visit per day in the current inside the current month. Mm. When the heroes messages I was going to send the hero messages through uh, the notice 
the plasma sages, actually. And uh, well, that is one I, I'm going to do. Uh, see so have two minutes, so just please see this um, video only for that. But if you want to continue uh, or skip some part of the video, you can uh, keep watching and then see the final results. I'm going to stop this video to make sure that I'm accomplished with the deadline and then I will send a different video showing the final results and so in this way you can skip the, the another video if you want or not